40 in the morning. Getting ready for a two hour drive up to the Poconos. Okay, I've never actually tried this, but some rocks along the turnpike here. Bring that snake. Or the ring neck. Always try to put the rocks back. It's got you. Yeah, buddy. All these rocks are pretty deep. Oh, not a ring neck. Put that back safely. Ring neck, no shortage of them. Well, this rock along the roadside was too big for a flip clip, but we got a little baby milk snake here. Gorgeous little guy. Pretty awesome. Trying some more random roadside rocks. And another ringer with a shed. It's just, interestingly enough, I don't think that's his shed because this guy looks like he's about to go into shed. Try to put the rocks back. Never how, know how big the baby snakes are going to be. So I'm supposed to be meeting Daniel in a half hour and I got up here early because I wanted to bird and look for some breeding warblers that are up here in the mountains but aren't at home. And I've gotten enough weird looks from people riding by so i uh, gotten carried away. I found one milk and about eight ringnecks so I always think, you know, the next rock might have an awesome milk or maybe a smooth green which would be really cool but i'm gonna get going because i'm hoping to find a black burning warbler up here well i told myself i would go right to where i'm meeting daniel but how can i not Got some moles Sorry about the traffic noise. Well, this definitely has potential. It's a ring neck. 
back down there. I'm just gonna leave him be. I've seen 10 of them already. So we got backer board right next to the road. This stuff can really. on birds but I'm just getting carried away just flipping these rocks oh there we go shit this looks like a really nice red belly yeah it's really cool I'm gonna grab my camera while it's in situ So here's another look at this red belly. Obviously you can see where the name comes from. Even though the belly can be an orangey or a peach color, hopefully we see some uh, variety. Oh, hold on, it's musking. Hopefully we see some variety of these guys today. Look at that in my hand. That's gonna smell awesome. Gorgeous little snakes. Come on camera. They definitely do not get the recognition they deserve. I love these guys. It's like just neon green. Is he all right? He's alive. So there's probably literally no way you're gonna see this, but my favorite warbler is up here. The Blackburnian, he's singing. There's 10K Will Robertson. Uh, hey, Daniel's down at the parking lot. I'm just wrestling with this warbler real quick. Field here from Wakefield Wildlife. Make sure you check out his YouTube. He's actually an awesome editor and finds some really cool stuff. He actually just flipped a smooth green, his first snake of the day. Well, I got a couple garters, okay. but first significant snake. There of the we day. go. Awesome. I never seen the flip stuff on this side of the field, but let's see. some video space. Yeah, see these rocks on like these rocks on like pine needles. There we go. Oh yeah. Glad I kept this rolling. Smooth green snake. That's why I come here. I found this place I got 11 years ago and always have brought my kids here because there's not really venomous snakes here. And it's just a lot of fun and I could do some stress-free herbing with them. Is that a jewel or what? All right, so. See if we can keep this guy kind of calm. Hold on. All right, so here's a better look at this guy. Nice cream to white ventral. Did you get this? Ah, uh, no, I stopped here. Sorry, I interrupted you. That's fine. Go ahead, you can flip him. Um, 
beautiful glowing green. These guys are insect specialists. They love spiders. I'm sure they'll eat plenty of other things. We'll flip this red belly. It's got actually kind of like an orangey belly compared to the one I found earlier. Different color phase, like the cinnamon brown color phase. Sometimes they lip curl, it's like a defense thing. I think they like drag their teeth along you, or I guess a predator, but they don't ever bite. This is a gravid female, so I don't wanna do too much to her. So the garter under a rock here, they have a diminished pattern up here. Some can be almost completely lacking the dorsal stripe. This guy's got a faint one, but still pretty neat because I don't get them looking like this down my way. Thanophis sertalis sertalis. I didn't get them now. Oh, okay. oh there we go. Red belly. Steraria occipitomaculata. Occipito maculata, and that is definitely the correct way to say it. Is the big reveal. Let's see what the belly looks like. All right. Nice bright red outlined in that silver. I feel like this might be a gravid. It is. It's a gra another gravid female. So I'm going to leave her be. Just flip this bigger green with some scarring on the back. Neck looks a little cockeyed, but I think it's just laying weird. Hopefully it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. She, I should say, it's probably female. All right, so check out the size of her. I think she's got eggs in her. Oh, come on. A lot of scarring. She's been through some battles, but she's hanging in there. She's a nice size. Now she's doing the mouth gape thing. Sometimes they do that. It's like a defense thing. I'm not holding her tight or anything, it's just what she does. All right, so we were just talking about how we hadn't seen a ring neck yet, at least at this spot, and then this one rock had four of them in a red belly. And the red belly's getting real defensive and flat, thinking it's like a water snake right now with the triangle head and all. Pretty neat. So this is actually my record for smooth greens at this spot with the help of Dan and Will anyway. I might have given up on flipping rocks, but we got six. So we're going to release them. We're going to spread them back out where we got them. We all took notes. So we're not messing with them too much. Yeah, so I just flipped green number seven. So definitely a record for the Poconos for me, but not all over, but I'm happy. One, one green makes a good day. Starter in a red eft. Oh wow. Eft, which is a newt, and it's in the second stage of its life. Newts are different than salamanders. They're the same well, you know, amphibians, but salamanders usually have two life stages. They go from egg to terrestrial. Newts, on the other hand, go from egg to terrestrial for a few years, which is what we're seeing now. That's when they get the red eft name. And then they return to the water as red spotted newts. They'll turn green. Their tails will turn into fins and adapted for water. And I just think that's super cool and super unique to the salamander family. Actually only like 52 degrees up here. So it's kind of neat to see a water snake out. I think this is the same one we saw on the way in. So I'm just gonna really pretty belly on this northern water snake, Nerodius, sip it on, sip it on. I'm just gonna release and back into the wild. Cool. Harmless snakes. Everybody, everybody thinks they're water moccasins, which is ridiculous because they come up only as far as south central Virginia. <laughs> 